our trip to Mississippi's Barrier Islands begins in Gulfport. Excited to spend a day at the beach, families board a ferry for the 11-mile journey. The trip takes about an hour and is a great part of the experience. Okay, folks, we got a whole bunch of dolphins. Looks like they're going to go be go down our left-hand side of the boat. Gulfport native William Buckley is the boat captain. I've been out on this body of water since I was knee-high. I think I knew how to drive a boat before I knew how to drive a bicycle. This body of water is the Mississippi Sound, and on today's crossing, we see lots of marine life. From pelicans looking for a meal to wild dolphins at play in the bright morning sun, some of them even escorting the boat to one of Mississippi's best natural treasures. A lot of people forget that we do have uh, water and uh, sand beaches, whereas people tend to forget poor little Mississippi, but. I think we're the crown jewel of the uh, northern gulf through here. I really do. Arriving at the island, you soon realize why it's a special place. The water is crystal clear. The sandy white beaches are inviting. And as you stroll down a boardwalk across the half mile width of the island, you see wildlife everywhere. These students from Arkansas Tech are here to see migratory birds. He's coming out. We've seen uh, sanderlings, plovers, sandpipers, coots, uh, red winged blackbirds, a lot of birds. <laughs> it's really neat. I love it here. It's really, really good place. And it's a great place to enjoy the beach away from the clamor of the coast. There's hardly anybody here. We feel like we've got the beach to ourselves, and um, it's just very natural beach. It's a good family place to go. Like, I mean, there's kids running around, and it's really peaceful and just nice. Today, Ship Island is a vacation destination where visitors can spend a relaxing day at the beach in a beautiful, peaceful setting. But it wasn't always that way. Cannons stand atop the island's only remnant from the Civil War, Ford, Massachusetts. A lot of people don't know it's out here, and they're very surprised at it. They're very intrigued right. about it. Close your eyes and think about it. a bunch of cannons going off over here. National Park Service Ranger Danny Underwood gives daily tours. We had Confederate soldiers from different battles that were out here. Explaining the fort's role in the war. Not a bad assignment at all. I love this place. You get to meet all the people, talk to everybody coming out on the boat tours. All of the people on the island will leave before sunset, boarding the ferry for the return trip to Gulfport. No one is allowed to stay overnight. We try to tread lightly as much as we can. That way the island can do its thing to rebuild itself. You know, I just like to see these islands stay pretty much natural as they are. It's one of the few places in the country, I believe, where we still have islands like this.